guys. I don't know if you've heard, but BlizzCon 2019 is finally here! Holy Jesus! And with BlizzCon came some very exciting announcements on the first day of the convention. From World of Warcraft to Overwatch to Diablo and more, today we're going to talk about things that were announced and things that were talked about at BlizzCon, from the good, the amazing, and the great to the not so great and kind of borderline stupid. Yeah. I'm going to warn you guys in advance. This video is one of those where I'm going to share my opinions on the announcements. So some of you are going to probably get angry at me. Some of you are going to cheer, but all of you are going to freak out when you see this. That's right. The mystery okay. box. What's in the mystery box? You might be wondering. Well, you're going to have to wait to find out. So let's get started, shall we? Okay. World of Warcraft. Before we talk about Shadowlands, I want to take one moment to discuss Warlords of Draenor. Back when this expansion came out, I remember thinking to myself, where's the big stuff? Usually a WoW expansion would be released with a new class, a new player. I think they're race, trying to do that with the tower. A old world leveling revamp yeah. or something of that note. Warlords of Draenor had, well, a new world to explore and some garrisons, which was a super limited player housing system. And for these reasons and more, I remember thinking how underwhelming WAD was as an expansion. Now, sure, the Rule 34 of Yorel was nice, but can we really judge an expansion hmm. as good on that alone? Maybe. And now we have Shadowlands, which, mm -hmm. from what we've heard so far, has almost nothing of greater note coming out with the release. Now, sure, we get a new area to explore, the Shadowlands. Yeah, and yeah, we get yeah. to meet some new factions that offer rep grind rewards. And, you know, there's some new abilities here and there. But where's the meat? Where's the Necromancer class? The, the crazy overhaul to our current class lineup? A, a whole new system or whatever. Where, where's the holy shit? This is why you should buy this expansion element. Uh, I feel like they have that. It's just like, it's not as obvious as it was before, right? Because like now it's not like, oh my God, wow, this crazy thing is going to happen. It's more just like in general, that's just, I don't know. Uh, it, it's not that big of a thing. Like they're adding back the new abilities, etc. I think that does kind of matter in itself. I mean, that that's, that's kind of like the new announcement in itself, but it's nothing that's like massive or huge or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's just like a bunch of little things that they're bringing back together. Where? We are getting that level cap nerf, however, that I've suggested Blizzard put into the game over the past yeah. two years or so. I mean, I've lost count of the number of times we have brought that up on this channel, so. Yeah. Thanks for the level so squish. The yeah, I, I think really the level squish is really good, too. I'm happy about that. Is that giant tower of the damned thing? which is a Diablo-esque, ever-changing dungeon that either you or some friends can take on and play through. I, I think that's a cool idea, to be fair. But beyond that, well, there's really not much to say, except for one more thing. Okay. This mount. You know which one I'm talking about. The store. This mount right yeah. here, if you buy yeah. the collector's edition or Another the collector's edition, edition mount. whatever. Now, Blizzard, I don't know how to break this to you, but that ain't no angelic mount inspired by the afterlife and shit. That's a dildo. That's a very nice looking dildo. But that's it a is, dildo. It is ribbed, to be fair. So it is I ribbed. Shadowlands, well, honestly, after the initial ooh, ah, of the announcements, I was kind of left disappointed. Just my opinion, of course. And yeah. also, Sylvanas kicking the Lich King's ass. A little weird. The lore's a little weird. There's what a, a bunch of bullshit, about, dude. Let's talk about Diablo 4. What a bunch of bullshit. Diablo 4 looks fantastic so far. There. I said it. Blizzard got so much crap thrown at them with D3 when it first yeah. came out. And it's clear they are not making the same mistake with the next installment in this franchise. No more cartoony graphics. No more lighthearted evil story. Mm -hmm. Blizzard took Diablo back to its hardcore, horror-filled, bloody roots. Good. And I like that. Yeah, that's D4 exactly what people cool. wanted. The graphics are dark and gothic-like, which is exactly how I feel a Diablo game should look like. Yeah. The classes look cool and interesting from what we've seen so far. Please, though, give us the Necromancer class again, Blizzard. The Druid looks great. That's definitely the class that I would be playing from what we've seen so far. But we need that Necromancer from back in the day. Like, come on. Diablo ain't nothing without the Necromancer, please. 
Thank you. Is Necromancer good in Diablo in Diablo three? Like I, I wasn't gonna buy a new class or something like that. It just wasn't gonna happen. Is it good? I have I literally have no idea. Uh, they're insane. Literally busted. Yeah, I love the D3 Necro. Bring back Necro from D2. Okay, so it's OP as fuck. I mean, I kind of expected that. That's what they do. They bring out the new one that you have to pay for, make that one really good, so more people pay for it, and then they make the ones that you already had not as good, right? That's basically the way that it works. Uh, so just actually give me... Well, I'll, I'll deal with that later, okay? Um, actually, right now, can somebody just layer me real quick? Yeah, can somebody layer me? And then I'm going to just go inside the instance. I, I, I don't want to deal with like running back a bunch. Uh, someone just invite me for a layer real quick. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep moving forward. Give me one sec. Yeah, just keep inviting me, guys. The spells look fun to play with. Druids get to transform and stuff. And get to go all berserk and shit. But overall, it looks like a good time. Oh, yeah. the cinematic was great. Like, I'm just saying, it was awesome. And having the dude from The Witch as the narrator in the gameplay trailer, love it. The one thing I'm very curious about, however, is how this game is going to feel considering how Diablo 4 almost kind of seems very MMO-ish. You wander around in the world, you fight monsters, you get your legendaries, you yeah. know, your big hero, so on and so forth. But whenever you're in cities and towns, you can apparently encounter other players. And unless I'm mistaken, certain massive bosses and such out in the open world, there are places where you can meet and fight with other players too. But don't- I, I think it does have a lot of MMO elements of it. And, and I think that's basically, that's a good thing. It's actually a good thing. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's completely a positive. Uh, it's completely positive. And I like MML elements. Now, it is an ARPG. It's a different genre. So it shouldn't be the exact same as fucking uh, as World of Warcraft. But I do believe that there are positive things you can get out of every genre. And because of that, it's something that's good, right? Okay, let's see here. Quote me on that because I might have misunderstood something or I might be remembering something wrong. I don't know. Anyway, the game is not really an MMO, but there's this light-hearted MMO-ness to the game. Yeah, and which I is good. Like that as I envision myself playing D4, it's around like I a shared world to an extent. Really excited to play. I'm a the big game fan of that. Getting my hands on it, but who knows? Maybe the game will suck. Blizzard will release some sort of weird talent tree or some broken mechanics or something. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and find out. But so far, in my opinion, in my opinion, Diablo 4 is the best announcement from this BlizzCon. Don't kill me for it. That's just what I think. Yeah, Over I would agree. Too. All right. Yeah, I would agree. It's time to be blunt. I'm sorry. This is not a separate game from Overwatch. <laughs> it's clearly an expansion or a glorified patch. Yeah, yeah, that's Blizzard, basically true. I swear to God. If you're going to make people pay $60 to play yeah. the exact same characters again with two new heroes, a push mode taken straight from TF2, and some simple character customization abilities, a little bit of PvE here and there, people, they ain't going to like it. I mean, what do you guys think? And no, it's not time for the mystery box yet. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, like, yeah, Overwatch 2, it's not like it's all, wow, I can't, I can't wait to see Overwatch 2. I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm excited to play the game, but he brings up a good point in that it's basically the same game. It should be $30 at most. I don't know about the price of the game. The price of the game is not necessarily important to me. What is important to me is the fact that the game is good, right? If the game is good, then I'm happy. If it's not good, then I'm not happy. And so as long as the game is fine, I'll be completely satisfied, okay? Uh, PP shit and maps are going to get added. Yeah, I, it's really kind of hard for me to say, but uh, overall, I'd consider it a positive, right? Uh, it's free to play, PvP modded. Yeah, but like I don't know exactly how that works, though. Uh, that's the thing. I, I really just don't know how it's uh, that's supposed to go. Uh, owners of Overwatch 2 should have a discount for $20 at least. Uh, I mean, like, I know they want to keep making money off of the game, but maybe that is true. It's hard to say. Stop asking. That's later. Patience. Huh. There is nothing about this game that screams sequel. It's just taking what was there and adding a few new things to it. And that's really all I have to say about Overwatch 2, because anything I say about it would also apply to the original game since they're the exact same thing mm -hmm. pretty much 
Did you enjoy Overwatch? Great. Play Overwatch Buy it again. Too. Yeah, buy the same game again. Overwatch? Why not? Well, then don't waste your time. It's the same game. I mean, look at it. All right. What else is there to say? Please don't charge us $60, Blizzard. Yeah. Good Lord. Heroes of the Storm. I didn't watch the Heroes of the Storm panel because I don't care about Heroes of the Storm. Sorry. Hearthstone. Now, for me personally, guys, I've always seen Hearthstone as the perfect hey, game to play same. when you're sitting on the toilet same. taking a fat American dump. Because yeah. that's exactly how I've always played it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too hardcore, just sitting back, relaxing, and blowing up my enemies with lighthearted fun while also blowing up my toilet. That's Hearthstone, guys. I've never you played Hearthstone before. True. Not even Descent a single of dragons game. Dragons just adds more of that light. I didn't know it was a hot panel either. In my opinion, new dragon-themed monster and magic cards, new crazy summonings like Galakron to the Great, some reworks to some old dragon heroes and so forth. It, it looks fun. You know, it looks looks nice. Good time yeah. passer. Sure. Now, for those of you wanting me to delve into how these cards and such are going to completely break the game and the meta and unbalance everything and just ruin the whole game as a whole. Dude, I ain't the one to talk to about that. All right, I play this game way too casually to look into all that stuff. But yeah, the game's probably going to be completely unbalanced, broken, and screwed after this next yep. expansion. But I guess we'll find out. I am a little salty, though, that there's still no Death Knight class in Hearthstone. I mean, sure, we got the DK theme. Well, why is there a class? Are they trying to do, like, pa like the fucking the Magic the Gathering shit? Like, I I'm not sure exactly how that's supposed to work. I, I don't even understand. Balance sucks. Yeah. Um. I I don't get it, man. There's always been classes. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Like that's the thing. I literally have never played Hearthstone. I cannot explain how little I'm interested in playing a card game on the internet. I just yeah. I I just don't care. I think it's silly, and I get other people like it. That's fine. But to me, I I. I'm just not interested in it at all. Classes with the Ice Crown Citadel expansion, but come on, Blizzard. Please. StarCraft. No StarCraft 3, everybody. No, of course not. What a surprise. Did anybody expect in otherwise? I mean, really. This year's BlizzCon is, well, in my opinion, it's a little underwhelming. Aside from D4, I wasn't yeah. really all too excited for anything and on top of some lackluster announcements too you also have that air of the recent blizzard controversies hanging over the company which to blizzard's credit they did make an apology for it not really BlizzCon. not but really though the comment sections surrounding yeah. this moment at the convention not really i don't think many people gave a damn but if you want to hear my Why would they? thoughts on that mess just go check out this video up in the corner or maybe it's that corner i, I don't know yeah but we're not, we're not here to talk about that all right so just go watch that video instead okay go but guys what did you think okay. about this year's blizzcon did you like it are you excited hey man just because i'm like hey i'm not that interested in this don't mean you have to be not interested are you hyped are you salty what would you give blizzcon between a one and a ten but everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd say like a Give nine. Give it a like if you liked it. So yeah, I, I, sure I'd say a nine. Bell so you're notified when I release new content. Oh. This? Yeah. Oh. The mystery box. Okay. I almost forgot. All right, what's well, in the mystery look, box? Shall we? I think you guys are going to like it. Okay. Well, would you look at that? It's just the possibility of Blizzard ever adding Tuscar Necromancers to World of Warcraft. This was your perfect chance, Blizzard. Okay. Your perfect chance. Are you fucking you serious? It. You ruin everything. Ah! All right, that's actually uh, that, that that was a good video. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, sure.